Hey, it's Jay, and today I'm looking at a cabin and we might be buying it. So, Crystal and I are on our way out to, uh, to a cabin that we might be buying and uh, it's it's been a long time coming a cabin to this channel we don't know for sure if we're going to buy it so we're going to go take a look the owners are going to meet us out there carrie's uh our, our limousine driver today you could say she's taking us out she has a cabin nearby so we know that the cabin uh needs work for sure we know that a bear has gotten at the cabin and has done some damage around the cabin but the way i see it is this would be a great opportunity for me to, uh, and Crystal, for us to make the cabin our own. So while you're watching this video and you're looking at the cabin with us, let us know in the comment section if you think um, we should get this cabin. We do know it's going to be work, but that's a part of the appeal. So out here we'd have a really great view of the lake if we cut down a few trees or we just keep it nice and private like this oh man this there's a bit of slope like it, it it slopes down for sure but it's really lovely it's a big area for sure and this is fine this is oh yeah you can't have robin go up there no my granddaughter flies up and down me like yeah. and she's on the side <laughs> Are you there it is So this is the only protection against the elements right here? Is this one piece of plywood? Yeah, these here. Holy. <laughs> we weren't sure what we were going to do, but... And that's the way it, it came. Really, it doesn't really affect it. Yeah. It's actually not bad, actually. And then you pull her down. Okay. Well, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, because you're sheltered anyway. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Wow. And then we got to sneak out through. After you, sir. You're not afraid of heights. Oh, this ain't bad at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that's a view. How old's the how old's the cabin? Do you know how old it is? Mm, not off the top of my head. It's got to be, I'd say, five to six. Five to six years. Maybe we've been here for two, almost three. Okay. So maybe two years before that, a year before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and least. you had all kinds of dreams, eh? Oh, still do. <laughs> <laughs> they never stop. No, no, they never stop. <laughs> dreams never stop. No. no, that's right. So what happened down here? <laughs> well, a bear. A bear, yeah. Oh, a bear yeah, got yeah. into it, eh? Yeah, he kind of ripped a hole in this side. Yeah. And then in the, in the front there, you can see where he's got his claw marks. And he got into our insulation and uh, made himself a nest, I believe. Really? <laughs> you think so? We're thinking, yeah. Wow. Yeah, but it was in the wintertime. So they did come out and they posted us, right? You know, we got to clean this up, but it was like four feet of snow. So you got a lot of wood here. A lot of wood. We stacked all that up and... You think there's any use? Yeah, there's. That's that's why I kept it there. There's there was a lot of use for some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it's way. probably rot, but some of it's probably. Yeah, good. the stuff on top is probably more rot, but I just put that stuff on top just to protect the, what's mostly underneath. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the bear he kind of ripped apart that a bit too, because that wasn't like that. I was trying to find the part for this. We got a missing a cyst of holes for draining. Ooh. Yep. That's a, it's a washer and dryer. Oh, like okay. Spinner. Yeah. Right. See so washer. Spin it out and then hang over your clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah, plug that in. Works. Never had any. You never had to utilize the bear board. Nope. Just for humans. <laughs> yeah. But you definitely have bears. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh so yeah. So you would just put that in front of the door, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah I would just put it in front of the door. Yeah. Well, that's, um, other than that, we never had any really critters or anything. I think we did. I think we had a Martin. You had a Martin? Yeah, I think he, we had left a window open and he went through this, took the screen off there and went through. It looked like he was only probably in there for a little bit before he got scared. Let me know what you guys think. 
Certainly work needs to be done in this spot and Shirley and Darren have been talking about that the whole time we've been here with them. They had all kinds of dreams, right? And who doesn't have a dream of owning a cabin in the woods and, and they, uh, they fulfilled that dream, but then they had dreams to really work on the cabin and they just didn't get out. And you guys know me, I'm always out of my tent and, um, this, this cabin, I'll be able to drive right up to it. Um, in in the middle of winter on an ice road right i'll be able to take my truck on an ice road pretty much right up to it then i get on my snowmobile and i would come right up into the cabin so there's that advantage and i i think it would be pretty awesome to do some ice road stuff and i just love like the fact that um i can come out here in the summer in a boat and i'd have to learn how to use a boat. I've never owned a boat. This is something that would be new for me, right? I'd have to learn how to use a motor. There's some tricky spots coming out here as well that I'd have to learn. Um, but it would be all part of the adventure and the excitement. And um, would you do it? Or would you say, no, it's not worth it? I'm not going to tell you how much we're planning on spending on this thing. I can tell you it's, it's, uh, it's a fair price for where we live. I believe it's a fair price considering the amount of work that that needs to be done and uh, the condition it's in, it's in good condition. It just, it needs some work for sure. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think? This is the view from up top. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what got Shirley. This is Shirley. Yeah. And this is Darren, by the way. And they're, they're the cabin owners. And so, uh, ready to give it up. Ready to give it up. Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what sold Shirley was the roof. Yeah. Two, two roofs? Yeah. That's yeah. what sold me on it. Yeah. yeah. Since but then we, there, but since like... we've got it, we haven't been up there. <laughs> yeah. at all. There's a really weird handle here. I don't know what it's doing with this stove. It's like you pull it out, push it in, pull it out. Maybe that's your draft? That's all? That's your draft system? Really interesting. It's not a huge box, but from what I understand, it gives off lots of heat. That's the draft right there? Yeah, that one I think is for the for the top. So if you got something on top, you can open that up and that will heats up this, heats up the top of this. Oh, right. so is it? This oh. is your flues over here on the side. Whoa. That is interesting. So how does that work? Um, I would just pretty much wide open, down is closed. Whoa. Yeah. One of the cool things about the North is when you have a cabin and you have a cabin lease, you have to have siding, right? That's so you, you get your lease, you build your cabin and then they'll come and inspect it. And the re a requirement is to have siding, but in the North siding is as simple as just painting. So if this was plywood without any paint on it, it would be considered a cabin without siding. But now that it's painted, it's considered siding. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting how it works up here. Just on, switch back on. Don't need the choke. Good lawyer there. Kind of make things work, right? Jukebox is on. <laughs> Jukebox, yeah, right on. We get radio. This is good AM out here, right? You do, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, we get AM. It's Bluetooth too, so. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see. You got right in there. Yeah. You're biting at her. <laughs> wow. I think that one's new. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love these. I use those. Lots of little trails coming through here. So this would be a snowmobile trail, like a little snowmobile loop that would come from down the water. You can see there's a lake, right? So you could take your snowmobile all the way up through here and you go up to the cabin and then you can loop around and go back around the other side of these trees. One of the big draws about this location is fishing. There is good, fresh fishing here, fresh trout, fresh pike, I don't know. We probably could even cast line straight here from shore and bring some pike in. Uh, and it's deep right offshore, so maybe even trout. So that would be something else that I could add to the channel because at my wall tent, 
the fishing out at that lake is not good. Um, there's pretty much nothing there, right? And, uh, but out here, prime. Just going for a trek through the woods just to see what's around. Get an idea of the land nearby. If there's any opportunity to do any cool tenting. You can see there's a game trail right there. This spot here is like a 60 second hike and it's beautiful up here. Wow. Yeah. So that was your plan for this, this was, was to put a lugaloo in here? Yeah, or just, uh, you know, just build a platform lane there with a bucket and that you can take out. That and you can pull you. in and, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would work. Yeah. Yeah, that would work for well, sure. My buddies do the same way. It was just kind of going off of what he did. Yeah. Right? Either open it up in the back so you don't have to go through the front of it. That's why I left that there. I didn't put any boards down there. So it's going to build a trap door and then you can just pull it out through the back without pulling it out through the front. It was a work, work in progress, as usual. Yeah, <laughs> but I think you've, you've, she feels strong, right? Oh yeah, she's solid. <laughs> well, unfortunately, my camera stopped recording audio at this point, but I got some great video. It's looking pretty hopeful at this point, and uh, likely that we will go ahead with this cabin, but I'm not going to say for sure. I'm going to say for sure once I have the lease in my hands and the property has been signed over to myself and Crystal. And, uh, and yeah, I think, I think it's a good idea. We feel pretty darn good about it. But like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys and you're going to see a lot of this cabin. If this deal goes through, you're going to see a lot of this cabin on my channel. And, um, it's just a very, very exciting time. And um, I think it's the fact that it's a fixer upper makes it uh, that much better. And it's not really that much of a fixer upper. There's just lots that can be done with it, right? There's, there's lots that we can do to make it our own. So I'd love for you guys to be there for that journey. And uh, I can see myself using it in the coldest, coldest, coldest weather and just, you know, breathing in that fresh minus 50 air and just enjoying myself in this little snug little uh, cabin with a loft and a roof that you can go out onto. I think it's just gonna be a wonderful opportunity for, for me to get uh, even better as an outdoorsman. Yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody. Look, I had a wicked time out here. Thanks to Darren and to Shirley and to Carrie for, uh, you know, Carrie for bringing us out to the, uh, to the cabin to see it. Darren and Shirley, for allowing us to to get a a really good view inside and out and by the way if you made it to this point the reason why the the uh the mess is still near the cabin with all of the insulation and the tent is this is actually darren and shirley's first trip out this summer so they realized they had the mess during the winter it was like four feet of snow they were told they had to clean it up and they haven't been back since so and now it's there. They sent me a picture, and you can see all kinds of uh, stuff that they're taking away from this property to make sure it's nice and clean and ready for hopefully us, the next owners. Anyway, would really love if you guys would you know maybe even share this video, hit like, comment. Um, what else do you do? Oh yeah, hit the notification bell. All that stuff. Um, it just really helps the channel grow and uh, I really appreciate it and I just want to keep making these videos so you know help help the channel grow and uh, be a part of this as I just continue to go forward and and try to make things work live in these dreams while I still can while I'm still you know young enough and strong enough to do these sorts of things so uh, yeah thanks so much for watching everybody I'll be back really soon.